Hello, this is Nada Safety Test Solutions in Germany. Today we would like to show you the difference between a white band and a selective measurement. So what's the difference between both? The result of a white band measurement made with the Nada NBM is all of the services together, regardless of how much power is radiated by TV, FM radio or cellular network transmitters or of how many transmitters are present. You will only get one single result, the total for all services. Just like your own body, it doesn't matter if it is FM or TV or both. The only thing that counts is a total. So here for example we have the measurement with an NVM meter and with a probe called EF0691 which covers a frequency range from 100 kHz up to 6 GHz. And here we have all services like industrial services, medium, long, shortwave transmitters in the megahertz range, the well-known FM radio and TV transmitters in 100 to several hundred megahertz frequency range, the mobile radio frequencies around 1 to 2 gigahertz and the point-to-point -point connection above 10 gigahertz. So with this probe from 100 kilohertz to 6 gigahertz we cover all these different services and we only get one result, the total amount. So the NVM cannot distinguish does it come from the television transmitter or from the long wave or from mobile radio. It only tells you it's 28.91 volts per meter. If you want to change the frequency range you connect a different probe. Like in our example here we connect an EF4091 which covers a frequency range 40 MHz up to 40 GHz. So now cover also the point-to-point -point connection. And it tells you in this frequency range we will have a frequent we have an amplitude of 16.6 watts per meter. So if we now switch over to the SRM, the SRM is a selective level meter, and we connected in this case an antenna from 27 megahertz to 3 gigahertz. So the SRM can give you also the total amount of all transmitters inside of 27 megahertz to 3 gigahertz. For example, all FM stations, all TV stations and some of the mobile radio stations. So it can give you the total amount, but it can also give you each service individually. So FM radio, for example, is 128 millivolts per meter. So in this case, it's not our problem. What you can see, you can define for each service the frequency range. For FM radio, for TV, for mobile operators, each of them can have its own frequency range. You can also see that there are ranges which are not covered. So if you switch on others, by others he will add all services together which are not made inside of your table so that you don't miss any signal in the total amount. 